Hello and welcome to episode 8 of our Laurentish campaign. In the last episode, we returned land to our vassal Rubyhold and were able to grab their mountains back. Uh, we kind of did abandon them before we were allied. We, we uh, denied a call to arms and then we ended up diplomatically vassalizing them anyways. And so we have returned all of that. And we also uh, took one province off of Lycian. And in just a few months, we're going to be taking the other one, which is 25 development. So going to be a lost and lost of aggressive expansion. Uh, I want to start off this episode just kind of looking around. You know, we've been very focused on what we have been doing and not taking a look at the world around us. So Bjarnrik up here in the north is actually having a pretty decent game. Uh, I suppose that's what happens when we keep Gwed distracted. And uh, they're currently feeling about 30,000 troops. Pretty good. They are starting their uh, colonization of this northern territory. So we'll see how that relationship develops in the future. Uh, over here in Eskin, we have uh, probably like two main... Uh, nations that have been doing well. The first is Bladebreaker, who currently fields about 48,000. That is, uh, I believe they're Orcish. Yes, they're one of the Orcish tags, and they seem to be doing well. And Stalbor uh, looks pretty good, too. They are, you know, they're not huge. They do have a great conqueror, so we could see them possibly expand a little bit more. Ilnor is looking all right, and I'm sure uh, once we beat up Gwet again, they may take advantage of that. Uh, they don't really want their land all that much. We'll see. We'll have to see. Uh, the Wood Elves have fully united as Sirenvar, and they have taken almost every province in the, the Deep Woods. Uh, the only ones they don't are held by the Dwarves right here. That's just one little pathway. And then this is uncolonized from the looks of it, which is going to be unfortunate for them, because that means they'll never hold that. Which may block them off their mission tree. I'm really not sure. Uh, down here in the Bulwar, Jadari is doing okay, though they have allied themselves to Irlium, who's doing much better. Uh, that's going to be a problem for Jadari because that means that they're going to cut off a lot of their possible expansions. And it seems that we have two alliance blocks. We have Irlium and Jadari and Brasartanchis and Bulwar, who <laughs> has migrated away. They don't even own their core anymore. So that was interesting. I wonder what happened there. Odds are, yeah, Jadari and Irlium went and kind of beat them up together. Ketarada is being invaded and dying. Uh, our ally Buslar has... Uh, yeah, I was gonna say integrated to Shack. No, Everthil starts off with the Frostal Union over to Shack. They've taken out Everthil and they have moved down into the uh, south onto I believe this Sarhal is the continent. So they're looking good, looking real, real strong. Hopefully, we can get the personal union on them. They do at the moment have our uh, our dynasty, but that's just a region. So unless the heir dies, which is not likely, then we will not see that. Uh, there are two things that I want to do before we unpause. Uh, the first is I want to send a royal marriage over to Arnanen. They have a 61-year-old ruler with no legal heir. And they are pretty strong. They're looking pretty beefy. They've taken most of Corvuria, and we could feed them even more if we get that uh, personal union. The second thing we need to do is we need to vassalize for Tesk diplomatically. Because look at all those cores. Yeah, we would be foolish not to try and snag that. So let's just uh, let's stop improving with our uh, colonial nation here. Bring these guys back and send them an alliance and try and get them on our side. I don't know what their improved relations are at at the moment. Uh, they're almost maxed out. Not great, to be honest, but we can make it work. We can make it work. Uh, we can't royal marry them because they are a republic. There's that truce up. Let's declare while we still can. We'll be going to war with Riveria and Bpec. I don't want to go to war with Westham because if we look here, I can almost vassalize them. It is very, very close. Only minus 27 reasons for a vassalization of all of this, including reconquest of some high dev stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So we're going to want to just uh, separate piece out Bpec, break that alliance. And as for Riveria, I do want to start taking some of the stuff here, but uh, I think money will do us much, much better for now. So let's go ahead and get the war started. Okay, so uh, you can move in instantly. You guys can also move in rather quickly. You can spread out and grab these things. Now I know there were a lot of people that wanted me to vassalize like Hilaire and Exus, and we may end up doing that, but I want to try and get these uh, more valuable vassalizations done before that point. I think it is more important for us. All right, we definitely don't need to leave all of these troops here, so we're going to move back up north, and we're going to start uh, 
A dwarf minister. Yeah, we'll get a moderate tolerance increase. We'll split up. We'll send one cannon there and another one here. But it looks like they have rebels, so we will wait for those reinforcements in order to engage. All right. And while we're just sitting here, we will loot all of this. Wow. Okay. Well, those cannons were used up real fast. Uh, let's send them up here to Roybabob. Classic. Classic. Uh, no much names. You are dying. Why are you dying? Okay. Odd. Um, move over there. And you move over here. Someone point out also, I had to get access to these guys because they're not a native tag. They are an adventure tag. And so because they're an adventure tag, you can't just walk through them. So that is good to know for any of your future games as well. Uh, as for tech, we could take admin tech and we probably should. Uh, but that Diplo Relations. Ooh, I'm going to go with the Diplo Relations, actually. Because it also gives us Diplo Rep. So, Romance to Chivalry. Knights from all over the realm look to us as a shining example of what it is to be a knight and their noble duties to their liege, their people, and their loved ones. So we gain plus one Diplo Rep. Very nice. Uh, now, I do need to cancel my military access with these guys. That way, uh, I still have forces in the border, so I'll have to wait a couple months. Let's make sure that we are focused on the war here. Like, you know, putting a general over onto him. Can I hire another general? I can. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, you're kind of trash, but you'll do. All right. And now we will back off uh, most of these troops. I don't, I don't really want to take all that attrition. But we'll do quite a few, just to make sure they don't try and jump us. As for this, we are still looting. Things are looking good. Things are looking grand. All right, let's go back over here. Cancel that access. Oop, thank you. All our guys are doing okay. We can continue to send our ships out to explore, so we'll do that. Uh, I think I was taking Diplotech because I was trying to get people loyal. Uh, well, it actually, it doesn't seem like they are really causing a problem for having a higher Diplotech. So let's take the idea. I would love to get up to this infantry combat ability. That would be very nice. You're 61. You, you're 62. You better not get an air. I will be very upset if you get an air. Like, there's no way you should get that. All right, uh, Vertesk. I would like to do this before I peace out because I'm going to gain aggressive expansion from this war. Brandon. Okay, I don't know what's. Okay, pity prestige or a stab. I'll take the stab. We've won the Siege of Carverhold. That's great. Got in a poison, and our explorer's dead. Well, rip to our explorer. Uh, we can have 8,000 peasants rise up here. Or we can... Yeah, I'm going to do that, actually. And you two can... Uh, well, never mind. My vassal will take care of him. Easy. All right, the first and probably last fort that we'll need to do here is complete. We'll switch it over to Ruby Hold. You guys go for their capital, and you guys can start to occupy slash loot things. Remember from Riveria, all I really want is uh, max money, war reps, and I want you to break your alliance with West Wars. And then we can start uh, slowly but surely going after them. I would like to get after the gnomes at some point as well. Uh, I feel like they'd be a good vassal. A little bit of reconquest, I can also feed them all of this, especially this. I don't want a Corvette. That'd be very expensive. All right, East Salt Marsh has been sieged down. Are you willing? You're not even willing to white piece me. That seems like a very dumb decision. I'm not going to lie. Um, but hey, it, it's your funeral, man. Like, if you want me to bring my entire army in on you, like, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, I thought I just saw Aelnar for a second. I was like, no, I want to kill Vanail. Uh, speaking of killing Vanail, I need to build up a spy network there first, though. Uh, how are we looking here? How are we looking for... Oh, damn, they have over a thousand, or over a hundred development now. That's fine. They should lose some. Pearl's Edge should kill them. Let's look here. Yeah, they want their land. They have the claims, so... And I don't think they're going to be one warable. They're not, so we'll be able to do diplomatically vassalize them in time. Let's just make sure they are friendly with us. Uh, as for Vertesk here... You're at 139. I'm probably going to have to influence these guys. Got the alliance. I've got the, the guarantee. 
Approved relations is up to 88. You can have oral marriage. Nothing to do with spy economy. I can have them steer trade to me. That's that's something. Wipe this army. Uh, seed. No, no, no. Don't make them mad with me. Uh, we'll just renounce the claim. All right, and now we just siege down their capital. Uh, I didn't want to do that, but if you're gonna make me do it, it's fine. There we go. My vassals are carpet siege and everything there. That's fantastic. Uh, which means you can just do some light looting. By light looting, I mean lots. Uh, let's bring our heavy fleet out. You can say hello, come and blockade this, or at least help in the blockade. Ooh, that's actually uh, fully improved with those guys. Uh, okay, well, I guess it's time to influence the nation. It's very expensive, but that's okay. We are in a war that can pay that off. Uh, we can start okay. We cannot currently beat Vanale, actually. We not with the not with those heavies. There's no shot. There's not a single shot I can land. And eighteen thousand troops. I have to uh, buff up my navy. That is what it's looking like. We'll do that with the money that we get out of this war. I think that'll be a good use of it. Okay, is this fully looted? Not yet. What about this? Uh, another tick, and that'll do. Vertesk. Let's go ahead and uh, who are your rivals? Ooh. Uh, I'll go for Crothan. Send an insult, scornful insult. Uh, yeah, that'll make Vertesk like me more. Beautiful. Gets him to 189, so an improved relation will do the trick. Then I can offer them vassalization when I have a diplomat. Which I suppose if I pull the diplomat back, that will help. Alright, so we now have Vertesk as a uh, vassal, which is good. People are somewhat disloyal, so I'm going to have to placate local rulers. Got to make sure that they are loyal. Look at all this dev I'm going to be able to reconquest. It is glorious. All right, now it is time for some peace deals. So, BPEC. Money, war reps, break your alliance, go. And then Reveria. Money, war reps, break your alliance, get rid of your cores on me, go. Awesome. Bring my troops on back home. No reason to have you out there. Bring, are you... Yeah, you're protecting the trade. Bring our ships on home. And now we need to plan for uh, a bit of a difficult war against the elves. As for mages, I'm going to go ahead and cast spell, and I'm going to encourage plant growth. I would like to make more money. That's going to bring our income from 12.47 up to... Okay, well, I'm not sure what happened there, because I definitely don't think it was supposed to go down. <laughs> that does not sound correct. You got an air. Dude. You suck. I hate you. How? How did you produce an air? Ridiculous. Whatever. How old's our ruler? We're 49, so we could die at any time. Uh, and I may want to abdicate, actually. Huh. Maybe. I mean, like, it's a 444. I mean, it's just, it's a better ruler all around. It would cost prestige and a stab hit, though. I don't know. Uh, this right here? That's fine. We can afford that. That. Get rid of your core on me. And boom. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's start that core. And we have finally completed the mission for Halfling Suzerainty, where we own the entire small country region. Our founder, Lorinan uh, the Great, repelled the invading Goeti forces and liberated the Halfling homeland in the process, who in gratitude swore fealty to him and his heirs. We have never forgotten this, and now is the time to return our borders to what it once was. So we gain minus uh, 0 0.05 autonomy change in the small country region, and we gain a permanent claim on Bipek. Pretty cool. Uh, the Duchy of Stormcast, so we just need to integrate them. Down here, we need a university. Uh, here, I own 10 provinces in the Blood region. Rolls Bay, yeah, that'll be fun. That'll require, like, wars and stuff over there, which I'm not at the moment um, ready for. Now, I need 30 galleys. 30 galleys. I feel like I should be, like, 30 galleys or 10 heavies. I know that uh, Korea in the base game has something like that for preparing for war with Japan. I just feel like 30 galleys is so many when you don't want galleys. <laughs> 
Like, I don't want galleys at all. I would rather just use a heavy fleet. But if I need galleys, then I guess I'm going to go for and build some galleys. So I need 30. Like, it's going to take us so far over our force limit here. Uh, and with that, we'll build a little bit of money. Any really, really good shipyards? Like, those two are pretty good. I suppose we'll build them. It'll help my naval force limit at least a little bit. We'll see. Uh, Wex wants me to join a war. Sure, I'll join. I will not be helping, though. You should not need my help for any reason. If he didn't have more than 100 development, we'd be in. That is so sad. Nimska declares war on Reveria. Okay. And our king died. I guess I just... I summoned that into existence. No, Arnanen, I don't want a uh, an alliance. And our royal marriage is actually broken. So that's great. That's just all around good. Uh, as for our deity, we should choose something useful. Fun fact, we should choose something useful. Uh, I know that doesn't really narrow it down uh the plus one monthly admin for castellos is pretty nice though i don't think we'll be able to use that uh decently soon uh improve relations would be good again we have a lot of aggressive expansion a lot and uh we have more wars to do and more fun to have so maybe that's our play i just i love the improved relations plus 15 percent. it's so good it's just so good uh, but so are monthly monarch points. No, actually, uh, easy choice. Esmeral, right? Diplo annexation cost minus 20, plus one monthly Diplo power. Yeah, that's that's definitely the play. Definitely play. We got to annex these, uh, these vassals of ours. Let's go ahead and take a look. We currently have 2.6 Diplo rep. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and get a royal marriage. I swear to God, if you claim my throne... Because I don't have an heir, but you have our dynasty because you're a regent, and then you break your alliance with me, I'm going to be very upset. Very upset. Okay, we're good. Uh, Westmores. Yeah, I'm going to keep Westmores around because I don't want Bjarnric to go and take this land. Uh, yeah, I'll take that money. Thank you very much. Let's also make sure that we are suppressing the rebels. Try and make them not spawn. And also try and not to take uh, attrition when we're just sitting here. Let's be a little bit smarter than that, boys. Just a little bit, maybe. I'd appreciate it. Okay, so most rebels are now going away. Uh, Vertesk, I think this recon quest should probably be one of our next wars that we do. As for this, uh, yeah, I, I gotta get a claim. I'll try to claim more. We'll see. See, that's the problem right there. Ooh, actually. They only have some of their heavies here right now, but they have six, right? Let's check the ledger. Let's just double, triple check, because that is a very important detail. Uh, and if I look up Vanail, that is not an N. That is, okay, whatever. Uh, Vanail, they have six heavies. So we have six heavies. Our Diplotech is nine. Their Diplotech is 11. When do you get the next level of Naval Morale? At 12. They have a 5-5 five, five, uh, Admiral. We have really high Navy tradition. Maybe we can get something like that. We're going to wait for our Diplo points, and then we'll see. Our first round of galleys should also be coming online here relatively soon. Uh, can I, like, sell this institution to someone? Oh, yeah, I sure can. Uh, let's sell it to Arnon. Yeah, make 3.11 uh, crowns. That's fantastic. Please, any day of the week. Uh, North Virgin is completed, so both of our colonies have now been completed. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, we need to hire another uh, explorer as well. Let's just get this entire colon... or this island colonized. I think it's a decent plan. Then our colony is at least a little bit more secure. Will cost us a pretty penny, but we'll be alright. We're making so much money right now. So much money. Alright, they only have 11,000. How long till our galleys are done? Okay, we're looking at approximately a couple months here. Only a couple months. It's not too bad. All right, I forgot we were in a war. Yeah, we want West. We want Wex to get strong because they are uh, our dynasty. So we can do a personal union on them, and that would be fantastic. 
Uh, new idea. Oh, okay. Well, that's bad. Uh, let's grab the general colonization law. Uh, no wish minorities. I will... No. Uh, Caselis is dead. Pamphlets spread across Kenor and the Divin Hall like wildfire. The claims printed there are more inflammatory than the hottest embers. Caselos, the ruling god of the Regent Court, is dead. Published by the Order of Chroniclers, the printings detail murals located in an ancient precursor ruin containing vast carvings depicting the whole course of precursor civilization. The last of these murals appears to have been made after the ruin of Aelintir civil after the ruin of Aelintir and depicts a deity named Castellar, known to Kenorians as Castellos, trying and failing to prevent this calamity. Copies of the mural are printed on the back of every pamphlet so that all can see the Sky God's end, and the Telemite town crier shout the words from the rooftops, Castellos is dead. In addition to the rapidly spreading pamphlets, a radical group of apprentice mages within the Magisterium became convinced of the Chronicler's claim and hatched a plot to seize the Tower of Adriel, which is right here, it's this little island. Uh, and use its magic amplifying properties and location in the middle of the dame's head to project the image of the mural on the clouds for all to see. Just a few days ago, the image of Castellar faltering before the devastation of the ruin of Aelintir appeared in the evening sky. The flickering of the mural's form against the clouds almost gave the illusion of the lightning shearing away Castellar's outstretched hand. The plotters were quickly apprehended and expelled by the Magisterium, but there is no undoing what they did. No way for the population of the Imperial States to unsee the image cast upon the clouds. The shock and anger at the Chronicler's revelation has reverberated throughout Hokan, with many claiming the Chroniclers are lying and demanding action against them, while others defend the Chronicler's impeccable record as being beyond reproach. Still, others clamor for answers from the religious leaders, most of whom are just as shocked as their congregations. The various clerics of the Pantheon offer different answers as they write a flurry of letters back and forth, and the high priests attempt to calm the situation. All the while, the question of the accuracy of the Chronicler's report hangs in the clergy's heads. For if they are correct, then all of these years, the Regent Court has been led by a dead god. We lose two stab. That's rough. So yes, the leader of our religion turns out he's dead. And he's been dead for uh, 1,533 years. <laughs> so that's going to cause some issues. Uh, now, as the rent, we are very much in favor of um, not this. <laughs> we are very anti coronite Um... Now, I'm not really sure how much Coronite's going to spread. There's not going to be a League War because there is no uh, no Empire. So, I mean, that's a pretty close uh, Senate Reformation, though. So, we may see a lot of states over here flip Coronite, which I'm actually okay with. I would love widespread Coronite on this side of the Dame's Head because that's less aggressive expansion I'll take for taking this, right? So, really, eh, you know, you know how it be. It's fine. Uh, we'll lose the Admin even though we do kind of need it. I don't want to give up that much money. Uh, we could start our golden era right now. It would not be a terrible idea. We'll probably want to do so before the 113 months is up. Uh, you know what? Let's just do it now. I feel like this is definitely definitely the golden era of Lorenz. So let's go ahead and fire that off. Makes things a bit better. Uh, Admin Advisor. All power cost. Or can I snag a um, stab modifier guy? Because that would be really useful at this time. Uh, this is still me, so let's go ahead and send another colonist up here. That way I can complete this colonial nation, and that way it will get started. I think that will be well worth it. Let's take a look at the trade goods. Maybe there's something that has, like, a really good trade good up here. I am not entirely sure. Uh, oh, wow. 37% for gold, huh? 37%. Okay, well, just kidding. Recall him. And uh, colonize that. I think somebody mentioned that in the comments. That's why I was just double checking. Very valuable stuff up there. Uh, it's only going to cost us 71. But if I can get the stab cost reduction. Nope. We'd have to pay a lot of money to fire people. Uh, Dame's Head Ambitions. Our galleys are completed. So while Laurent has always been renowned for its martial prowess on land, on the sea, not so much. In order to support our ambitions expanding into the Empire of Aminar, we must create a strong and powerful navy. So we gain galley combat ability, naval maintenance modifier, and a permanent claim on the West Dames Head region. Any chance you've lost Dev? No. Okay. All of his boats are back. We need to hire an Admiral. We'll hire an Explorer. That way we can use it for two things. Please be good. Please. No. That's better. Not fantastic, but it's better. 
Uh, one thing I need to do, I need to build at least 10 more transports. Uh, our economy is going to start hurting a lot from all of these ships, but we'll we'll deal with it. We can always mothball them or just straight up delete them afterwards. Everthill, what? Where's Everthill? Where are they? I, I thought Boostler killed them. I mean, I, I just kind of assumed they did. Where, where in the world are you? Oh. Okay. Well, that's definitely not worth the personal union over. <laughs> uh, I'll pass. Thank you, though. Alright, boost that up once. I'll just need to do that again. We do have rebels that are definitely going to be spawning up now because of all of that. It's fantastic. Uh, Cave Goblin Horde in Rubyhold. Uh, we'll help him out. Definitely. And then we need to prepare for the invasion of Loren. Or not, <laughs> uh, no. We are not going to be invading ourselves. Uh, that would not make much sense. As entertaining as some may find that. And don't get me wrong, I always love seeing Laurent get absolutely curb stomped. Uh, not exactly what we're looking for this game. Not exactly what we're looking for. No, we need to go at Vanail. I would like their colonies. Oh nice, Reveria is collapsing. You do love to see that. Now I know, the gnomes declared on them, didn't they? Uh, gnomes? You sure about that? <laughs> like, I know they were weak for that little bit of time, but I still think they're gonna be stronger than you. All right, let's go ahead and how long till Miltech? Very long. Let's grab another general. We'll probably want to lead with uh, this guy. Wow, there's some terrible generals. Like honestly, just super trash. Wow, that's literally the minimum amount of pips I think. Yeah. Okay, well at least they're somewhat better. That was that was devastating. All right, we do have to wait for all of our transports to be done here, but they they build super fast. Yeah, look at that. We're going to start losing money from our navy. Uh, how much are we paying for fleet? Yeah, 21 crowns. Yes, 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 yes. That's what we want. Now, he doesn't want everything, right? Nope. He does not want everything. No, I think he doesn't. No, he doesn't even have claims on everything. All I need him to do is take, like, a couple provinces. Just, like, three provinces. And then I can diplo vassalize and do more reconquest. Oh, this is great. We're also... Oh, I can't, I can't do the thing where I take their land. Sad. Oh no, and we're also almost out of time. Hey, what do you mean, Diplo insult? You piss off. Careful. Uh, professionalism? Yeah. I'll take the professionalism. Can I revoke land, by the way? No, because I just made the nobles mad. Oh, uh, actually, that's not true. I can sell titles and then instantly seize. Oh, big brain plays. We don't need to stay firearm. That's not important. Uh, yeah, you guys can go ahead and have access. Well, with that much money, I mean, we we gotta we gotta build some stuff, bro. We gotta build. Get that wine up and rolling. We'll leave ourselves a little bit of cash. Uh, you never know when you're gonna need it. Never know when you're gonna need it. Okay, so we have our transports. Let's get our heavies. They are gonna raid us, I think. As soon as we move these heavies off. Um, let's grab like half of our galleys and put them on hunting pirates. Then the rest of you move over into here. And yeah, uh, in the next episode, that's that's the plan. We're going to be taking out the elves. Ah, okay. Nice. Wow. Integrate and we, uh, we get a new colony at the same time. Well, that's pretty nice. Uh, where at? Oh, up here in the north. But that's not done. So... Oh, because I, right, I inherited my vassal. Uh, yeah, you can go for a crown colony. That's fine. And we can complete the Duchy of Sornkost. The Dukes of Sornkost are one of the oldest houses still maintaining ancient Lincori blood. They are a proud house and have long since enjoyed relative autonomy from the crown. Until now. Uh, for 25 years, we gain plus 0.5 prestige and legitimacy. And we also have in Lornin, Lornin's Stead, where we need to own all that stuff. Uh, we still need to take out Rubenair. I just kind of realized that. Uh, we'll do that next time as well. But uh, in Lornin's Stead, with the defeat of our most powerful foes in the region, we are but a short step away from unifying uh, Lensinor. 
a feat not done since Lornanen the Great, the founder of our nation, unified the Linkori people and drove out the Goeti invaders. So we gain permanent claim on the region, and for 25 years, we gain minus 15% core creation cost and minus 20% province war score cost. That is actually very good because that just makes it to where Vanail is definitely um, one war. And I don't have to worry about any of that. So yes, next time we are going to be going at Vanail. We're going to annex them. We're going to steal their colonies. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to complete a mission. And we're going to take out Rubenair. And we're going to hopefully vassalize Westham. And we're going to reconquest for protest. Things are looking great. Things are looking fantastic for us. Number one world power. And uh, we have the, you know, the oof to <laughs> prove it. Even though we are losing uh, 24.77 crowns every month because of our uh, galleys. But we'll get rid of those soon enough as they will not be needed. I would like to thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.